Welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to show you the best way to make money in New World and whilst you're doing it, level up your character as well. So let's get straight into it. So the things that you're going to be doing to get you as much money as you can and to help you level up as well is you're going to be using things like your herbs and things that you cook with. Okay, these are resources you can get an abundance of really easy, really simple, and it also helps with doing your side quests as well now i'll get onto that in a bit because that is a more of sort of something you don't have to focus on or you can sort of interchange uh what you want to prioritize more whether it's the leveling or whether it's making money so the sort of things that we're going to be looking at here is stuff like nutmeg for example if we have a look at it here okay we put all of our settlements in here okay so lowest price here is but it is four coins right here for gold now if you go up here you go to prices somewhere uh, like here getting it for 10 you know all depends on the places that you're selling that okay but yeah it basically this stuff is that you can get an abundance of it's really easy to get the prices for it are where well, they've sort of varied you're not really going to sell it over for anything more than 10 and you're not really going to sell anything for under like two for example right here um but yeah if you just like look at stuff right here i'll just show you a couple more examples like cauliflower right here okay this is not going for as well you go to cutlass keys which are one of the places you are going to be going to for me it's five gold right there another one is cinnamon cinnamon is something you can get a, a bunch of here as you see here if you go to everfall the main market on more or less every server if not all servers right here is going for four pound fifty pound gold coins you, you, you get the point that i'm saying here all right this stuff is going to be easily obtainable and i'm going to be showing you uh a route that you're going to be taking for this uh before i get into the map i'm going to quickly tell you some other things that you're going to be doing in twinness and it's something you probably could heard a thousand times but it's your town project board okay and you're going to be doing town missions right here there isn't much going on but normally you get a bunch of quests right here okay obviously it depends on your town and you get all sorts of these quests here and it's going to give you loads of xp loads of territory standing okay now obviously some that i don't recommend doing right here is these cooking ones here one you're going to be selling these resources and two it takes a while to to actually get all the stuff for these things because sometimes they require things that aren't going to necessarily be in the route and some things you're just kind of not going to have another one right here is the lumber one now the lumber one does give a load of territory standing and xp however it does take a long while to get all of that but i do recommend you do this because obviously you're going to need to get your logging up at some point so you might as well do it now rather than later and yeah that's sort of a quick overview here of what you're going to be making here now i can't give you an exact number of stuff that you're going to be getting like the gold you're going to be making for this but obviously you can make a rough estimate yourself from the price on your server and the amount of resources you're collecting because it comes down to server so let's get straight into the map i'm going to be showing you how to maximize your profits and how to maximize your xp gain from this so let's move over to the map so right here, we've got a map of the things that you're going to be want to be collecting on the way as you're doing these rotations here. So the main places that I like to use for this are Everfall, uh, Windsward, Monarch's Bluff, and sometimes I go to, for Cutlass Keys right down here. You could also use uh, First Light here. I'm going to be showing you these are the main ones you want to be using, okay? Now it does depend on what you want to do here. If you want to focus more on the gathering route, you may find... Uh, using first light is a really good option here because you've got a load of herbs around here and obviously you've got your potatoes you've got your corn you've got squash you've got cabbage you've got, you've got all sorts down here uh, but the places that you're going to be like the herbs you're going to be finding your cinnamon you're going to be finding your nutmeg I believe that there's a lot of nutmeg here and a lot more cinnamon down here uh, so yeah the sort of routes that you want to be taking here so let's say you're starting in Everfall uh, there isn't anything major good there's a lot of good places around here so the sort of route you're going to be taking here is down to Everfall. Go across here, get your berries and all that whatnot. Come down here to a, a Windsward. You also want to be checking uh, every time. You want to be checking the places, the rotations that you're going in. You want to be comparing all the prices and seeing the, where's the best place to sell your carrot. Where's the best place to sell the cabbage, you know. Always check which place is selling it for the highest price. And then sell it there instead of don't sell your inventory's load. At the first place you're going to so if you go from everfall to windsward make sure you're checking which has got the highest price so for example strawberries could be going for the most in monarch's blast that's where you want to save them don't sell them there go to monarch's blast and sell them there so once you've made it down to monarch's bluff come over here you probably you don't have to do all of this obviously it just depends on what you want to do personally but as you can see here uh right here there's a big bunch right here there's a big bunch and the rest of them are quite sparse you might say you might want to move on here and then obviously you would have got this on the way down 
come this way right through here you want to go just fall through here down to there and come across here get this patch right here and again sort of make your way up get these here get this big section here and right your way down to marks bluff now you can come down here as well to first light if you do want to add another selection and you have checked the prices you obviously check on yourself what the prices are for first light mine on first light no one's actually selling things around here because this is one of the starting places so people don't often tend to buy it around here so it, it, though you can put up high prices it doesn't tend to sell all that much so you know sort of decide that one for yourself but obviously there is a load of resources you can sell here now a downside is the rotation back up to uh, cutlass keys isn't great in fact cutlass itself doesn't have many areas around it but it is just sort of one of those places that you can go on the way down here cutlass keys up here you know obviously it depends but cutlass does have a really good gold route right here which was one of the in my previous videos where i mentioned gold is something extremely useful if you want to go check out go check out one of my videos uh it's pretty recent it's doing money as well you'll see it go check it out and why you want to collect gold right here really good gold route and something is really useful to make more money as well so that's why i recommend implementing things as well as the town board as you can say if you need things from the town board like iron you go in here find wherever iron is uh give me a second so we'll put the gold put iron on as you can see when you come in through the rotations here loads of iron here and as i say the gold route is very good here so you may want to come down to first light get your potatoes get your herbs all sorts etc get some iron get some gold make your way up to cutlass and make you up to monarchs plus as you see it's a very very good rotation right there now obviously this website right here any sort of the map website just type in new world map map genie or new world map they're going to be one of the first two that come up okay they're amazing sources to sort of plan your routes out so you made it to Marks Bluff. What you want to do here is you want to come through here. Uh, so again, it depends on what you want to do. You might want to go straight up here as it's kind of easier to find all of the uh, things. Uh, right here, there's, there's a few here, quite sparse, and there's a lot of mountains in the way, so it makes the path a lot easier. Right here, it's fairly open. However, I find coming through here, all the way here and to this great big patch right here, there's loads going on here. And then, you know, depending on how it goes, I may adventure up here come down to everfall have a go around everfall because there's things like broccoli broccoli isn't something that is as common as you can see you can't really see it much on the map uh but broccoli isn't actually going on my server it doesn't go for that much so i'm not too fussed about that myself so yeah go around optimize your route don't just do the same thing i'm telling you to do here look on your server look at the prices looks what's going for the most and prioritize those and make sure you don't sell it in the same places now again obviously if you want to focus on the more xp side of things uh make sure you're doing your town boards they refresh every 30 minutes so say if you do everfall windsward marks bluff and cutlass keys that is four places that you're getting your town boards from now i believe you hold up to a maximum of 50 of them so i believe you can just about get all of the town boards you'll you, you won't get a cap if you do four if you come down here to first light you may have some issues here but yeah keep a keep sort of like pictures or screenshots so you know what you need to do for it with your town board and that as you can quickly view over see how much you need for it and keep it on the rotate as you can see like i say you can prioritize xp or gold more honestly it depends what you want but yeah use this to plan out your routes plan out the resources that you want but yeah if you do want to make gold this is an amazing strategy for gold because people are just not bothering with this right now people are it's just not being covered as you can see it's so easy that they're not going for insane prices but obviously you get these in such a high quantity that it, it's it's amazing yeah <laughs> that's all there is to it really um yeah so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe drop a like stick around for more because i'm going to be making so many more videos on new world and i'm going to be doing a lot more content on other games coming soon but i'm mainly focusing on new world right now so check out the channel there's a lot of fps boosts on there you know there's stuff going around i'm sure you can find something that you'll like